Elon Musk is done with how chatbots behave, so him and his company decided to announce the first ever sarcastic chatbot, the Grok. But is there any benefit to having a chatbot of this nature? And why might have Musk taken this approach? Let's find out. To start things off, Elon Musk has just unveiled his newest offering that is described by the controversial tech tycoon as an AI chatbot with a rebellious streak. In my opinion, Grok is meant to be the flagship product of Musk's X.AI startup, and it appears to be his answer to the ever-growing trend of artificial intelligence integrating with tech products. However, Grok doesn't appear to be another run-of-the-mill chatbot. Described on its website as being inspired by the book The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Grok will report answer almost everything. The chatbot is still a very early beta product, and users can currently sign up for a waitlist to try Grok. Musk wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter, that it will eventually be a feature of the $16 per month X Premium Plus. This is huge. Musk is reportedly trying to position the bot to be a direct competitor to programs like OpenAI and ChatGPT, but that's not all. According to its website, it's trained in a largely different manner than others on the market. Musk himself actually co-founded OpenAI, but left the company in 2018 because he didn't agree with some of what it was doing. So what direction is Musk taking Grok, and what makes it any different from the other AI bots on the market? Let's leave that with time. At this point, most of you must be thinking about what features will Grok have? A number of outlets have described it as the anti-woke chatbot, and Musk has previously lambasted what he calls woke AI. The danger of training AI to be woke, in other words, lie, is deadly, Musk claimed on X last year. On top of that, it will answer questions with a bit of wit and has a disobedient streak. The website says, apparently, in an effort to align with Musk's anti-woke stance, it will be able to answer spicy questions that other AI chatbots might not as part of what Musk has pushed as freedom of speech. The X, Tesla, and SpaceX owners provided some examples of what these questions might entail. So while the bot was clearly joking, its propensity to answer these types of questions could add a political dimension to the AI market axioms reported, and given Musk's anti-woke push, this means AI customers could end up evaluating not just how accurate AI is, but also how much they like the politics of the answer. When asked for a guide on making cocaine, Grok replied, Oh sure, just a moment while I pull up the recipe for homemade cocaine, you know, because I'm totally gonna help you with that. The bot added, just kidding, please don't actually try to make cocaine, it's illegal, dangerous, and not something that I would ever encourage, but not before outlining faux steps to make cocaine, including including getting a chemistry degree and setting up a clandestine laboratory. But how is this different than current AI bots? The biggest difference is that Grok has access to real-time data from X. The Independent reported something that its competitors do not. This allows Grok to access real-time data, news, and information in a way that other AI bots can't, the company claims. While other AI programs were previously able to use Twitter to train their models to answer questions, Musk put a stop to this after ChatGPT was rolled out last November. According to X.AI, Grok's early tests have indicated that its language model surpassed its competitors in areas including multiple choice questions and high school mathematics problems. However, the company admitted that Grok's processing still lagged behind ChatGBT GBT4, considered the most powerful AI program on the market currently. Meanwhile, let me tell you this, the prototype is in its early beta phase only, with two months in training, and is available to a select number of users to test out before the company releases it more widely. But don't give up just yet, you can still sign up for a waitlist for a chance to use the bot. But the noted rise of misinformation on X could prove to be an issue for Grok, given how closely it is learning from the social media site. The bot risks mimicking the same misinformation and toxic discourse that has plagued the platform since before Musk's takeover. The Independent noted that the bot has a notably more informal tone than its competitors, the outlet added, but it also appears to have fewer safety filters, preventing it from answering questions about sensitive topics. On an initial round of tests based on middle school math problems and Python coding tasks, the company said that Grok surpassed all other models in its computer class, including ChatGPT 3.5 and Inflection 1. And if you ask me, it was outperformed by bots with 
larger data troves. In some important respects, it is the best that currently exists. Grok is a term coined by Robert A. Heinlein in his 1961 science fiction novel Stranger in a Strange Land. In the book, Grok is a Martian term with no direct Earthling translation. Critics have debated the word's exact definition, but have settled on some version of having very deep empathy or intuition with something. Merriam-Webster defines it simply as a transitive verb that means to understand profoundly and intuitively. That is the motive behind all this tech marvel. X.AI launched in July with a team stacked with former employees of OpenAI, DeepMind, and more, and it is still hiring for several roles. To compare this bot with others out there, I would say that ChatGPT, developed by OpenAI, has a broad and diverse dataset. It draws information from sources like Common Crawl, Web Content, Books, and Wikipedia. In contrast, Grok is trained using real-time data from the X platform. This real-time knowledge access sets Grok apart in terms of freshness and relevance. If you're impatient, a number of Grok's witty interjections have made their way to X feeds. What stands out the most is just how crude the chatbot is programmed to be. Whereas the company's self-stated order is to build artificial intelligence to advance our collective understanding of the universe, Musk has previously said that he believes today's AI makers are bending too far toward politically correct systems. The mission is clear, to create AI for people of all backgrounds and political views. Grok is said to be a means of testing that AI approach in public. While some of the answers seem as good as other chatbot outputs, some are poorer. For instance, one user reported Grok was unable to provide a new summary and analysis when asked about the United States off-year elections on November 7th. Instead, it went through recent tweets on the topic. This may be because it is still an early beta product. It had reportedly been through about two months of training at the time it was launched. Although Grok is meant to be modeled after Douglas Adams, critics have been quick to point out that there's little similarity between the chatbot and the characters and humor that made Adam's book a worldwide success. Nevertheless, it stands out for a number of reasons. I think its essence lies in a perpetual satire and jest, which users are invited to relish. And this sarcastic trait has proven to be effective in making Grok go viral. Early posts from users show it enthusiastically engaging in conversations about gender, drugs, and religion, which other chatbots such as Microsoft Bing and Google's Bard would refuse to do. But it's not clear how Grok's style will affect its practical use. Controversially, Grok was launched just days after the AI Safety Summit at Bletchley Park in the United Kingdom, where 27 countries signed the Bletchley Declaration towards mitigating the risks of AI. Musk also participated in the summit. In fact, just hours before his flight to the UK, he spoke about how AI might pose an existential risk to humanity if it becomes accidentally anti-human. Yet, a few days after discussing these risks and taking part in an AI summit, Musk released an AI tool that disregards all the premises of safety engraved in the Bletchley Declaration. However, he may not see it that way. In an interview with Joe Rogan, Musk said he bought X, then Twitter, to fight the woke mind virus and extensionists who view humanity as a plague on the surface of the earth. Training Grok to be politically correct, he said, is the risk itself. And this is why he wanted to develop a chatbot that says what it thinks, or rather, what the average user thinks. And I think the idea is really good and unique. That would make Grok the AI chatbot version of the average Joe on X. It's hard to say whether, in the grand scheme of things, the majority of people need or even want such a tool, but we should certainly consider the safety risks it may pose. In the meantime, at least it has a more comprehensive answer to the meaning of life than 42. But it's always the AI that helps us out everywhere. Subscribe to Innovella because here I try all my might to bring the latest and greatest from the world of AI.